Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I will be unboxing an uh, item that we had purchased that we wanted to level up our channel, take it up a notch. So we um, invested in a toy. So today I'll be unboxing this little toy and I'll be uh, showing you all the items that comes with it. And I uh, hope you like this video. Stay tuned. So, we purchased it uh, three, four days ago. And um, it's, um, we just wanted to, as I said, level up the channel some more. So we think this would be a good investment for the channel. I don't know if anyone can guess before I open it. Anyways, it is a drone. So this is a DJI mini drone. So we bought the combo, which includes the travel case, some extra propellers and uh, extra battery and stuff. So let me take it out and I will show you. Oh, we actually got a memory card as well. Extra storage. I think you're gonna need this. So this is how it's looking. And I will open it. So this drone guys, it's um you have DJI uh, like two, you have DJI Mini 3 and you have DJI Mini Pro. Um, there's a slight difference with all three of them. So we went in the middle. Um, there's slight, this is no way, uh, no way uh, much different from the Pro, apart from some longer flight times and a few other features. So this can record in 4K, this is the package. Nice. So we went and we got the controller that has a screen. So you can go with uh, one that doesn't have a screen. So you'll just use your phone as the screen. But um, we choose to use the, just go with the the screen only because I think the screen is bigger than my phone. So that was one reason and. Instead of just draining your phone battery all the time when it's hooked up, at least you have a screen, you don't have to be worrying about that. So these are the cables. I believe you connect the cable to your phone from this to your phone and a little screwdriver to, I guess, for the propellers. And So you get two batteries. I guess you, you charge these battery. You get um, two, but I believe you have space for three or maybe, yep, you have space for three. You get 38 minutes of flight time, guys, when you fully charge this. Let me see if there's a third one in here. Maybe not. So this is what the drone look like so it has a a return to home some of the features are it has a return to home feature so if it lost signal in the air or the battery die it will just return to base without you doing anything it has obstacle um, detection so if um, there's an obstacle a tree branch or something it will detect that as well it has um, st stability stability feature that um, give you real good caption when you're doing a video or taking a picture um, 
Should I take this off? I don't know. Yeah, it said remove before use. So I think these are just the lens cover that you should remove. One of the advantages in this camera as well, in this the D3i Mini 3, the camera rotates. So you see how that spins? I think it rotates to 360. So it those still footage or those shots that you want to capture from all the angle, instead of the drone going around, it can just uh, stay still and give you that angle. So that's one of the features that this has that I think the DJI 2 didn't have or the DJI Mini Pro didn't have. So that's another feature. It The screen is big enough. And this is a screen that I was telling you about. So you can get, you can actually buy these in pieces. You can buy the, the drone and you can buy um, um, the controller that doesn't have the screen. You just use your phone. Guys, this um, drone come with a nice travel case here. You can just put your drone in it and you can just put it um, in your suitcase. It's very um, neat and small, if you may say. Also, what we like about this drone and why we went with this drone, this drone, is, it's foldable as you can see and it weighs less than 249 grams um, certain countries are a lot of countries have restriction in flying a drone if it's more than 250 grams you would need a license to fly that drone um, we didn't want to go that road so we wanted a drone that will still give us a good image and is just as professional as a drone that weighs more than 240 grams or 250 grams so we went with this you do not need a license we're here in canada and um, you don't need a license if it's 249 grams or less to fly that drone also so the screen is big enough it comes with um i don't know what you'd call these but you put them on the controller uh, like a joystick kind of thing and you'd connect one of these cables from the controller to your cell phone when you're uploading and the uh, USB card goes in here which I show you earlier store all your your footage or you can just take that USB card and just stick it in your um, computer right so we will be taking this bad boy out later for a spin um, first time flying a drone so hopefully we don't crash it oh guys when you purchase one make sure you get warranty or extended warranty especially if you're a first time flyer like myself because yeah this thing can end up in a tree right or damage but you can buy all you can buy the parts if you damage any parts you can buy those parts so stay tuned guys we'll be taking this bad boy out soon okay guys so i went to one of our local parks make sure there's no trees around or it's not too crowded with people so i put the drone on a level surface and I was just um, pouring up the RC controller. And it was a nice day. One thing you want to make sure you do, guys, once you pour up the controller, uh, make sure you set that return to home feature. Just in case, as I had mentioned in the video or in the unboxing, that um, just in case the battery run low, while it's flying or uh, something go wrong like it lost signal that drone will return to where it took off right so here I am I was just setting up some features and I used the takeoff button in opposed to just trying to 
take it off i was having some difficulties so i was just practicing flying it low just in front of us like you know a couple of feet off the ground only because it was my first time i took it a a little bit higher and then i was just playing around i took it back down i was just trying to find my comfort level guys and you can do that with the drone it's honestly it's re really really easy to fly i was just practicing here going side to side having it low just to you know get comfortable with it and here we are <laughs>